Hello friends and welcome in this new video. About two months ago I showed you this new Nuki Smart Lock 3.0 Pro and I really love this Smart Lock. If you want to know why you need a Smart Lock, how does it work, I really advise to watch this video first. But today I'm going to compare the Smart Lock Pro to the Smart Lock 3.0. So this is the Smart Lock 3.0 Pro. And this is the Smart Lock 3.0. So the differences between the both, as you see, they both have the same size. The Pro has this metal finish where the 3.0 has the white finish. The Pro comes with a power pack where the 3.0 has alkaline batteries. And the big difference is the Pro has a built-in bridge. The 3.0 doesn't have a built-in bridge. But if you are a HomeKit user like I am, you don't need a bridge because the HomeKit can control your smart lock in a distance anyway. So I ordered this power pack with the lock and then it becomes almost the same. The price difference, the Pro comes at 279 euros, the 3.0 costs 169 euros and the power pack costs 49 euros. And if you use the voucher that I put in my video description, you even have a 30 euros discount. So the kit of course comes again with a back plate that we have in this box, yeah. the screws. With the Pro, you also have a little charging cable in order to charge your power pack. I will also complete my new setup with an extra door sensor. With the door sensor, you will know that door is closed. And with the smart lock, you will know that it is locked. So for this installation, I also going to use the back plate with the screws. Now let's unlock the power pack. We have the little leaflet, we have the power pack, and the little charging cable. So this is the cylinder of the front door where I'm going to install the Nuki. As you can see, this cylinder already has enough space in order to install the Nuki. This cylinder, however, can have a key on the inside and on the outside. But as I have a good cylinder on the back door, I can always use that one as backup. So I always can enter my house. So I'll keep this cylinder. So let's remove the key first. So now it's installed, let's put the key back on, let's go to the Nuki app, smart lock, add a new smart lock, configure my smart lock, it's already installed on the door, not yet, but let's do so. So yes, okay, I accept. Now I have to press the button five seconds. So on the exterior of this door, I don't have a clinch. I have only a knob. So I'll opt for that one. I have to unlock my door. 
is unlocked now and we can start the calibration. So now I have two smart locks, my one on the back door and one on the front door. So let's see my configuration here. And here I can change my status light. So it can blink whenever this door is unlocked. As we don't use this door that often, I'll leave this blinking. So we have a good witness when this door is unlocked. Now within the Nuki application, I have my both doors. As you can see, I have a little battery icon. So let me see into this one. I want to control this one, functions and configuration. And battery. And here you can see the level is critic. So I already have to charge this power pack. Apparently it doesn't come charged. So let me do that first. So I charged the power pack. It took about six hours to charge completely. When you put it back, don't forget to set the battery setting in the Nuki application to power pack. Otherwise the percentage isn't correctly displayed. I tested first, but the door didn't open. So I had to redo a calibration. And now with the second calibration, it were all fine. So let's test it outside. So I'm using this smart lock now for a couple of weeks and I am as happy with this one as I was already with the smart lock 3.0 Pro. It works really fine. I don't have any flaws. So if you're looking for a budget smart lock for under 200 euros, you already have this one with a battery pack with my 30 euros voucher that you find in the video description. So I hope you like this little comparison. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment and let me know what you think of it. And I see you in the very next video. Bye bye.